Hey guys, welcome back to Island Girls Kitchen. And tonight what I'm making for you is Jamaican stew peas. So guys, you'll need two set of meat for the stew peas. One is salted and one is fresh. And the cut of meat I'm using tonight is beef ribs. And I'm going to make sure that I salt this properly so that it's thoroughly cured. So you want to put a lot of salt on it. And I also like to use um, other seasoning. It's up to you, but the main ingredient is the salt. And what I have here is pimento seeds, but I like to break it up so um, you get out most of the flavor out of the pimento seed. So I'm just going to make sure that the meat is like wrapped up in um, pimento, crushed pimento seeds and salt. And you can put um, some pepper on it. It's up to you how you would like it. And you can just leave this in the fridge for days. And um, the longer it, sta it stays, um, it's the more it's cured. Hey guys, so here's what we'll do. Our, our first step is to rinse off all the salt and other season that I have on here mar marinating for a few weeks, I would say, and it's well absorbed. Um, after rinse it off thoroughly because it's very salty. And I'll combine it with the um, fresh ribs over here. And this is my red kidney beans that I'll use. And you see all this, this big chunk of bones with the cartilage around it and um, this really tight fat that is stuck to the bone. This has a lot of flavor. Look at the difference with the fresh ribs and the ribs that has been salted for a few weeks. This is like fully cured. And this will have a completely different flavor profile than this one. And this is what's gonna make the stew peas taste really, really delicious. So this is um, a two pound pack of um, red kidney beans. Uh, I'm gonna use a half of it, or maybe a little more than a half. And what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna put this in my Instapot and let it slow cook for 24 hours. Um, you don't have to do this. You can put it on the stove top and just cook it on medium high if you wanna do it in a much faster manner. But um, I will finish this up tomorrow. So I'll just have this slow cook for 24 hours. Okay, so this is day number two and the beans and the ribs are fully cooked. So the next thing we're going to add all our seasoning and I like to break break up the scallions so the flavor will come out of it and you don't need to cut these up I usually just mash, smash it and put it back in the pot and the next step is to take out some of the beans because the reason why I'm taking this out is I want to smash them and then I'll add it back towards the end of the stew peas so the stew peas, the stew peas will have a nice creamy and thicker texture but you cannot um, smash it and put it back right away because it will be too thick and then the stew peas will burn at the bottom so you have to do this um, last so you just take out as much as you can now the next step is to add a can of coconut milk because this will also give it a nice creamy texture you definitely want to add coconut milk to your stew peas Let me try to get out everything. Mm -hmm. 
Now what these are, these are called spinners and they're just like little dumpling, little dough that um, if you watch any of my other videos, I'm pretty sure I have how to make um, these little doughs, these little dumpling um, before. But basically what it is, is just flour with salt, a little bit of salt and some water and you knead it until it become turn into this dough texture and then you make these little spinners and you just add them to the pot and these are just a nice addition to your stew peas when you're eating it. Next we will add some black pepper and I don't know, I just think black pepper tastes really good in stew peas. So you can't have stew peas and not have some black pepper in it. And this is some all purpose seasoning. And fresh thyme. Some fresh onion and some garlic, of course. I love garlic and garlic is also very healthy for you. But I always um, crush my garlic. I prefer to crush it um, and not slice it up. Because I like to get all the flavors out of these fresh seasoning. And right there, I think I have about five or six cloves of garlic and one onion, just a few stems of thyme and about three stalks of scallion. And I also put like a habanero chili whole in the pot and just let it simmer so you can have the, the fragrance of the habanero chili. And this is how we smash our beans. Now everything is coming down to a boil and if you notice that you didn't see me add salt and the reason is the salt from the salt beef is actually really salty. So you have to taste it first and you can determine from there if you need to add some additional salt. But um, at this time there is no need for salt. And there you have it. Um, that's Jamaican stew peas made with beef ribs. This is not traditional to use beef ribs, it's, um, but it's usually made with some kind of beef with the bone in it. There you have it. If you like my recipes, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Now see you again next time.